Be prepared, um, but again, be vigilant and, and start, you know, just start planning. National Weather Service forecasters are predicting a top five flood for the Fargo area, and we're still in the midst of winter. Valley News Team's Joshua Pagaro has details on what was said today and visited an area that could be again dealing with high water hassles. Lloyd Amundsen has been living in his Harwood home for the past 20 years, so he's used to spring flooding. Well, we've got another uh, generator to use if we need it and um, just some sandbags and sand. Cass County rural communities, including Harwood, are no strangers to battling floods. Yet Amundsen scoffs at predictions that this year's spring flood may be worse than 2019. I don't see it myself. I don't think it'll get that high. I mean, we're going to have water probably possibly like last year, but I don't think we're going to be in serious trouble. The massive amounts of snow throughout the valley present big concerns for weather forecasters. What's sitting in these fields could lead to the kind of overland flooding that threatens farms and towns alike. The National Weather Service says some parts in the Red River Valley will be getting major flooding. Since last September, Fargo has been experiencing the second wettest weather on record. Yeah, there's a lot of moisture out there. The rivers are running high. Cass County engineer Jason Benson is encouraging residents to begin preparing for spring flooding by checking sump pumps and collecting sandbags. Uh, first and foremost, you know, look at your flood insurance. Uh, if you've had flood insurance in the past or, or have a concern, we really encourage you to go talk to your insurance provider. Benson says areas around the Cheyenne and Maple Rivers are the biggest concerns. In Harwood, Joshua Piguero, Valley News Live. The Red River in Fargo has a 50-50 chance of cresting at 36 feet this spring, making it a major flood, according to the National Weather Service. 30 feet is considered major flood stage, and at 32 feet, flood walls are installed along 2nd Street downtown. Incidentally, the river is currently at 15 feet.